Columbus State today? It's the 22nd of May. 22nd of May, 2015. Correct. Well, I don't want to think about 2015 because I feel old. He says he feels old and he's about to do a 72 mile solo canoe race down the South Dakota River. Oh, Missouri River. The Missouri River, after having just run a tough mutter. I don't know, it doesn't sound old to me, Bob. Yeah. It's yeah. Not, I'm not old. No. This age is a number. Age is a number. Except for your eyes, I just can't see anymore. South Dakota, one pee, one poo stop, some uh, pork rinds. Pork I didn't. Rinds. I didn't need the pork rinds. You cannot go on a on a trip without pork rinds. I don't eat pork rinds. This is uh, this is how Mike has looked for most of his trip, yeah. and uh, that's how Aiden's looked for most of the trip. Almost there, and. Uh, the race will begin. <laughs> you got your stuff? Hi. You got your stuff? I got my stuff. We're staying at the uh, Kelly Inn, Yankton, South Dakota. Big days, big days. This is the yard where we kept the canoes at overnight. Morning. Good morning. Hey Frank, you ready for this? Mike, you ready? I gotta get you, Mary Beth. I just got to get you on camera. This boat is from Springfield, Missouri. I'll never keep up with these guys. Everybody's getting ready. That's what the view looks like. Jim, I, I, gotta, I gotta hand it to you guys for being so committed to racing well, and going. Well, I love we're it. not that we're not that committed. We're no no no, that's that's you. There you go. Yeah. We're well we love it. It's a great sport. We, we I mean, need to be committed, I think. Yeah, that's right. Well you'll live longer, don't you think, if you if you do this kind of stuff? You know, look at how beautiful it is out there. Yes. God, I hope it's still. Look at how look at how that river is just yeah. kind of flowing. Let's hop on top of that and get about five miles an hour on top of that. And here we go. Okay. Later, Gator. All right, we are about to rock here.
Grandpa Jim, South Dakota Challenge, 2015. Six minutes to start. And they're off. into it and uh, I've gone 7.5 miles in one hour so if I can get some miles ahead of me before the winds kick in it'll surely slow me down the last third of the race but we're doing pretty good so far only these damn kayakers ahead of me Checkpoint number one in the boonies, 7.30 a.m. Saturday morning. I can rip you in Krigler, South Dakota. Well, I just had my first burrito, honey and peanut butter burrito. I need that energy. Still paddle on the way. Paddlers are separating right now. And uh, it's kind of down to a steady pace. It's been uh, about two hours, a little over two hours. I'm about 14 and a half miles. So I keep it a pretty steady pace. Got a nice headwind. But to the first checkpoint yet. I think that first checkpoint is about maybe two more miles, maybe less. So I'll uh, turn you on as we pass it. But I'm still going strong. I'm telling you. Peanut butter and honey, 50-50 split. And a burrito. Ooh, that'll give you some energy to go. I'm going. The life of a, of a support crew. It's pretty rad. Pretty rad. Better run through the jungle. Better run through the jungle. Woo Better right, run through the jungle. Through the jungle. Woo oh, don't move, baby. 12.1 to the next stop. Nice. Good, Mike. 
the road crew just leaving Nebraska leaving checkpoint number two heading to checkpoint number three got a roll call roll call Hi. Aiden doesn't know how to do roll call yet oh uh, maybe someday Seacrest out age is uh, just a number to me right now hoping I can say that when the race is over uh, I'd really like to demonstrate to my two grandkids that if you put your mind to something, you can do it. No matter, no matter how difficult or how, how nervous you are about it. Or how strenuous it is, mental or physical. Believe me, what I'm doing right now, it's mental, it's physical. And it's buttocial, meaning of the butt. Because when you sit on your butt and scoot back and forth for 10 hours or so, that's what I call buttocial. Anyway, I'm hoping that somebody can get this tape to my great, great, great grandchildren so they can see what they're great 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 grandfather looked like and was willing to do when he was 65 years old. Video log. We are somewhere in, uh, I don't know, that's where we are. We're in the middle of a cornfield. No fences. No internet. We lost our uh, page that showed us where we're supposed to be going. You can see from the shakiness of the camera we're on a true dirt road, not gravel, dirt road. But we saw a bolt landing sign, so I think uh, I think we're gonna go for it. What do you think, Mike? I don't know, but that hillbilly chasing us with a shotgun on the back of the billy goat was pretty scary. A little disconcerting. Nothing we can't handle, though. Hey, Ed. Yeah? What are we doing right now? Waiting for Grandpa to third stop. Third checkpoint? Yeah. What state are we in, do you know? Uh, Nebraska? I think we're in South Dakota again. Checkpoint three, waiting for Grandpa Jim. Got he. 
Road Crew. At the checkpoint number four. Hi. Doing great, man. Okay. Few more, few more strokes to your left. Look up. Okay. How you doing, Pop? Hey, my age is showing. Your age is showing. You only got 13 miles left. How many? You're still at the head of the pack. First break at mile 69. Hey. 13 miles left to go. What do you have to say about it? I'd like a new butt. A new butt. I'd like to trade my old butt in for a new butt. New butt. <laughs> I don't know if that's new within butt. our within our road crew specialty if we can uh, I don't think you know they'll let what? us give you new I butts or gonna, new paddles. I'm gonna put the GoPro on and I'm going to embark on visions of grandeur on my way on my final leg, my final 15 miles leg, which I think I can do at seven miles an hour, two hours from now, the crowd is gonna go wild with applause. Naked breasted women will run down to me with beers <laughs> to hand me a beer, hollering that you are the winner. You, you know, whatever they holler, I don't really know, but. Dude, were we supposed to set that up? Uh, yeah, they'll be there, no problem. Naked women with beers. Okay, good. <laughs> nice. Now make them old naked women with beers, would you? That way I won't feel so bad. Okay, old naked women okay. with beers. Okay. All right, the last leg. I can feel my butt again. The blood is now in my butt. There you go. There he goes. All right. Good luck, man. I'll be there. He's off. Final leg. Keep the beer cold, boys. Thank you. Oh my. Now we are in the current again. Woohoo. So, about mile 50 something. Like mile, I don't know, 53, 54. Got about 13, 15 miles left. I had to stop for about 10 minutes at the last checkpoint to take a pee and see if I could trade my butt in for a new one. The thing about this race for me, this has been physical, it's been mental, all about, you know, getting over your self-doubt. And it's been an amazing experience learning the river, giving it more than you think you have to. I've learned a lot in the last 50 miles paddling by myself. And I'll share it with you someday. But I'll tell you, there's nothing like being at mile 35 feeling like you can't make it and and suddenly you get a kind of a burst of energy and then you see a big river boil coming up and 
something plops up out of it. Fish jump up right in front of you. Scares the hell out of you and the adrenaline starts running. And suddenly, suddenly, your butt stops hurting. Your ass doesn't hurt anymore. Because that adrenaline's blowing. Well, I'll tell you what. This is downhill from here, I feel good. Oh, that could be from the five hour energy that I just drank. I'll tell you, I'm about three pounds lighter after visiting the boys' room. I ain't taking a pee for... That's right. When you don't pee for 50 miles, it changes a person. It's a historic moment when uh, Grandpa Jim Krigler is finished the South Dakota Challenge, 72 miles. In this sturdy old part of the city, when the sun refused to shine, people tell me there ain't no use in trying. <laughs> Woo, Grandpa Jim! Now, my girl, you're so young and pretty, and one thing I know is Dead before your time is due, I know. Watch my daddy in bed at time. Watch his hand been turning gray. He's been working and slaving his life away. Oh, yes, I know. He's been working so hard. Oh, my. I just rode 72 miles in 11 and a half hours, and I was in the top third. I didn't set a course record, but I set a personal record Woo! because I've never done it before. And uh, Mike Nesseth, because of Mike's ingenuity, I was able to read the river, use my mental strength, my physical strength, and my batoxual strength <laughs> to overcome all the odds that I came across on that river. And so finally, here I am at the finish line, and it's time for Beer 30. So to all those of you who think that you can accomplish something, let me just tell you, you can. First place at 11 hours, 26 minutes, Jim Krigler. me and you believe me baby I know it baby you know it too 